Krocoin has had a nice 55% rally over the past month, and there is another bullish catalyst for this altcoin coming soon, as we are about to see the first Krocoin burn of 50 million tokens locked up in the community pool. You can expect to hear about all of this and the impact it may have on this altcoin in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find these videos informative or entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turning the notification bell on. And I do appreciate all of the support on the channel. So we're going to talk about Crowcoin today as we are coming up on the first 50 million burn ever since the initial Crowcoin burn proposal was actually launched earlier this year. So what this basically was back in May, the Kronos POS chain, formerly known as Crypto.org, passed a pivotal governance proposal aimed at slowing down the Crow token inflation. This proposal introduced a burning mechanism to reduce the overall inflation rate, which involved allocating a share of tokens generated through future inflation to a community pool, which was then periodically burned. And at the time of this initial proposal, we can actually see here that there were about 26 billion crow tokens in circulation with an annual inflation rate of roughly 2.5%. And this means that each year before this burn proposal went live, about 646 million crow tokens were being emitted into circulation. And the proposed mechanism, once again, basically aimed to take a portion of the rewards here and actually put them in a burn wallet, thus reducing the inflation rate and burning off the this crow in the community pool. So here's how the crypto.org chain used to operate. I mean, it's kind of funny because now they, they actually changed the way it operates for the Brown proposal. So here's how the Kronos POS chain used to operate, okay? So you had crow holders delegate crow tokens to validators. The validator secured the chain by producing and validating blocks based on the number of stake tokens. Crow rewards received by crow holders after deducting for validator commissions and then validators receive their crow rewards plus commissions, if any. So here is what changed. There were basically two important steps that were added. So uh, step number four, or actually rather going back to step number three, instead of directly emitting the crow fully to the validator, some portion of the rewards, 15%, are redirected to the community pool then the crow rewards minus the portion redirected received by crow holders after deducting validator commissions number five validators receive commissions from awards and six crow in community fund is sent to a burn address through governance vote and then removed from circulation so this brings us to the next question when burn they say we propose to initiate the crow burn when the community pool hits the 50 million crow threshold. Achieving this target will not only be a pivotal moment in the upgrade of our protocol, but will also serve as a hairbringer for a more balanced and resilient token economic model for Kronos POS. This inaugural crow burn is more than a one-off event. It's the first step in a broader long-term strategy. As we plan for the future, we are exploring two potential paths to sustainably implement future crow burns so number one is a threshold triggered burn with this model each time the community pools crow balance reaches a specified amount for example 25 million crow a burn event will be triggered and this approach ensures that burning is a res is responsive to the rate of token accumulation thus directly impacting the circulating supply in a dynamic manner and number two alternatively we could stick to a time-based approach where burns occur at quarterly intervals irrespective of how much crow has been amassed in the community pool this would provide a predictable and consistent burning schedule which may be easier for to for token holders and market analysts to anticipate each option has its merits and the choice between them will set the course for how the Kronos POS chain manages its supply moving forward. And they are asking people to visit the Kronos Discord server or GitHub to share their thoughts. And they say here, as we look ahead, the successful completion of this inaugural crow burn serves as a milestone in our mission to optimize the Kronos POS's chain tokenomics. But this achievement is not an endpoint, rather a catalyst for further exploration. And here's what I kind of want to talk about, okay? 
So yes, this first burn is definitely something to uh, to take a look at and, and to really look forward to if you are a Crow coin holder. However, when we talk about taking future steps, I would like to see some much bigger burns happening in the future, okay? Listen, I'm not trying to discount the burns taking place, okay? Any amount of Crow coin burned is a good amount in my opinion because personally, I think the supply is way too big to begin with with a $30 billion total supply, okay? I mean, if we go ahead and take a look here at BNB, which we spoke about in yesterday's video being a pretty fair comparison. I mean, BNB is also the native token of Binance and the native token of the Binance Smart Chain, just how Crowcoin is the native token of Crypto.com and the Kronos POS chain as well as the Kronos chain. I mean, BNB has a total supply of, uh, where's their supply? Actually, let's go ahead and get that up. I believe that it has a total supply of 151.69 billion, or sorry, million, okay? And they're trying to reduce that down to 100 mil. So if BNB, you know, the native token of the biggest global exchange and the third largest blockchain can have a supply of 100 and 151 mil and aiming to bring that down to 100 mil why can't crowcoin have a supply under 1 billion i mean i think that personally that would be a lot better for the current holders and obviously given now i mean right off the bat right like there's 6 billion crow locked up in in the chronos pos chain so it wouldn't really be realistic at all to get the supply below 1 billion. However, I think that whenever the, the team can do some bigger burns, maybe even buy back some crow coin and burn it, I really think that would go a long way for the price action of this coin. And that's just my two cents. But, you know, currently that's not what's happening. What is happening in this is this burn. So that's what we're going to focus on. And uh, I mean, you can see here, right? Like it's 50 million crow, about 4.63 million US dollars worth. And if we take a look at the relevance of that, right, I mean, we're talking about 50 million crow being burned there with a circulating supply of 26.4-ish bill or something like that. And uh, to kind of denominate it in US dollars, right, like Crowcoin has a market cap at the moment of over 2 billion. I know that for sure. Let's take a look. Uh, 2.3 billion. Okay, that's its market cap. 2.3 billion, and this burn is worth about 4.6 mil. So really, at the end of the day, kind of like a drop in a bucket, considering the market cap of Crow. Obviously, 4.6 million dollars is a huge chunk of money, but when you consider that 2.6 billion is involved in this token, or 2.3 billion, I mean, it's not exactly a massive, significant amount. And I'm just being real with you guys, right? Like, I do like the burns happening in the first place, but I would be lying if I said I don't wish they were much bigger, okay? Now, the one thing I do have to say about Crowcoin is that, you know, in terms of the supply, while it is still uh, uh, too much for my liking, I mean, there's no other way to put it. I think the supply could definitely be reduced by a hefty amount. Um, the one thing that I do have to give it is that it is definitely still really generating a nice yield for the long-term holders who are locking it up on the chain, currently offering about 7.34%, which is better than the likes of Ethereum like BNB. I believe it's better than Cardano, and it's competitive with some of the other chains like AVAX, so like Solana. Uh, which do come in around that 6 to 7% area as well. But once again, both of them having token supplies below 1 billion and generating a similar yield. Uh, the argument here, though, is that Crowcoin does have a much smaller market cap than AVAX and Solana, right? Like Crowcoin here uh, comes in with a 2.3 billion market cap, AVAX comes in with uh, 7.4 bill, and Solana with 23.3 bill. So. Uh, listen, guys, at the end of the day, I do still think the burn is a step in the right direction. I do think it could act as a positive catalyst for Crowcoin as the burn is approved. And I do want to see some bigger burns from the team in the future. Now, to wrap things up, I do want to take a quick look at the Crowcoin chart here, okay? Because there is one, one thing that I am eyeing at the moment. And actually, there's two big things, okay? The first thing here is the fact that we are, again, below this 10 cent area. This 10 cent area has been a very important area for Crowcoin in terms of the price action. If we go back to the 2022 bear market, it actually acted as support on multiple different occasions before it finally broke below here in November, right? Like we can see 
that in June, in uh, in July, as well as in November here. In September and October, it acted as support before Crowcoin finally broke below in, in November there based on the Crypto.com FUD. And we can actually see going back here to the bull market that in July of 2021 and August, this acted as a strong area of support before Crowcoin went on that massive run there from, you know, give or take like 10 cents all the way up to 95 cents which was basically a move of 822% from July to November. So over three months, this thing went up over 800%. And uh, I do think Tencent is a very strong area for Crowcoin. And you can see here that even after we kind of tested it more recently in this altcoin rally, that we are now once again below it. So you can see here, right, if we actually go in on the shorter time frames, that this is where you've been getting rejected consistently ever since we actually broke below it here following the run above. So kind of looking to see how Crowcoin does react at this level. I am curious to see if we can kind of actually make a meaningful move above this 10 cent area, which uh, may coincide with the kind of news or the hype around the burn, but we will have to see about that. So just kind of keeping an eye on this chart at the moment and taking a look at where Crowcoin does land next. As always, I do plan to keep you guys updated on the latest news with this all coin and the rest of the market and uh yeah on that note i hope you did enjoy the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you guys in the next one peace out for now